Greetings and welcome to another Alpha Magnus review. Uh, this time we've got uh, the Street Sharks Ripster. Look at that. Oh, look at this little guy. <laughs> this is a custom um, Ripster that I made from some Marvel Legends and a McFarlane figure. It's pretty cool. I, I like it. It does everything that I want it to. I did embellish some stuff. Ooh, I still got to finish painting that part. <laughs> He's not done. <laughs> let's, let's, let's start right there. I... I have, to, I have to finish him. Um, but he is more Masterverse style, uh, I guess, is the best way to put it. Uh, he's really hard to get a good picture of. Jeez. There. That's pretty good. <laughs> he's a huge beast. Um, get there. As he falls over. Hey, guess what he does really well? He falls over a lot. So this is the motorcycle that I got for this. This was a... An old Ollie's purchase. Um, I have misplaced the kickstand, which drives me crazy. So I have to kind of make one. I'm probably just going to use some Lego or something like that. But I got this to bring out for him. This is the actual review today. Uh, I bite. <laughs> Get it? Um, there's his bio. I do find it weird that they don't acknowledge that these guys were like brothers that were mutated uh, against their will and into this. Uh, yeah, kind of weird. But oh, he's got a power punching action too. Let's get into this. So, uh, as much as I love gimmicks, I also kind of hate gimmicks, <laughs> and uh, because they they typically will make it so that the figure cannot pose quite as well. Mattel's been a lot better at it. They usually make it where it has ratchets and you can move it around so that it doesn't break the figure. But, um, I don't need gimmicks, guys. If, uh, gimmicks are for the kid line. So if you were to bring out another version of this that's like a different one, go for it. Do whatever you gotta do. Garbage. You don't need to sully my. My action figures. With your goofy gimmicks that are to sell to kids. And kids don't really care about them. Ruining my life, Mattel. There's another. Uh, another thing there. So, like it's weird too because some of the Motu figures, like their entire existence is their um, their goofy features and uh, like their uh, their gimmicks, uh, and they don't put them all in there. <laughs> like Ram Man, I don't think has a gimmick. Like it's kind of weird. All right, so here is. Um, Ripster, he's got his cowboy boots and his ripped jeans. As I said before, I would love it if these would have been um, customizable, like the Motu Origins, where you could pop and swap. Because I would definitely make a guy with these pants, uh, even if he had short legs. It's still, still fun. It looks like, wow, he is really <laughs> mis mishandled here. So, um, wasn't this supposed to, is mine broken? <laughs> Cause it's not doing nothing. <laughs> uh, let me know if yours doesn't. I mean, I don't care cause I'm, I hated the gimmick anyway. <laughs> But mine is not doing the punchy thing that it's advertised to do. It's supposed to be like pull back and he punches, but mine ain't doing that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is very salacious crummy in, in my opinion. So, uh, he does only have a fist for this hand. But have I tried? No, nah, you can't pull the fists out. So... That's dumb. 
So you're stuck with two fists for this guy. <laughs> Hope you like them. Let's take a look at this crotchal area here, because something weird is going on with this one's there. It does have a drop-down hip, just like Jab, which is super weird, like drop-down hips on these guys. They barely have ankle tilts. Like, you get a little bit. But the the basics uh, kind of make it so it doesn't work that way. Um, he does have chomping action there, at least. Um, <laughs> the, the fisting action does not work that well. As I said, I'm probably buying that SGCC one because he does come with a jacket and glasses and a pool table a couple other things so it's it's pretty cool i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna go that route and then customize this guy into a proper custom but it's gonna be hard because this is like rubber i gotta figure out how to paint that but let's take a look here so i have a jam already in there and the whole point of this was that you're supposed to be able to um make bigger like cages but what I'm noticing is they didn't give you a bottom for any of these. So I don't know if that was a cost cutting. Would they never plan to do that? Um, but it makes it kind of hard to customize this. So I mean, technically, everything they said is true. You can make more. But you're going to have to have like a bavillion of these. Because I don't know what else you could do with what I've got here. Let's try separating this part. So yes, technically, you can do exactly what they said. What the functionality of that is, is, is up for grabs though. Um, so you can make like a big, a big cage, an octagon here. I don't know. It's, it's a fun idea, but I feel like they needed to include that bottom piece. Cause we're just going to be missing that on every single one of these now. And, um, I don't think that's really, really going to work. Because, yeah, like, my idea was to take this and make, you know, like, that kind of a cage. But I guess if you wanted to, you could make a 2 by 2 by 2 do it that way. And then you're still stuck without a top for it. So, half-baked? Yeah, this is kind of half-baked. I feel like I would have rather if them had, you know, solid cages and then just had a bottom. <laughs> uh, or or do it like this. But you got to give extra pieces so that you can put them all together. I'm sure someone out there is going to come out with a really cool uh, idea that makes me look like an idiot. But for now, half-baked. Half-baked idea. They did not... They did not let this one cook long enough. Um, and I'm sure they'll start releasing these in different colors, making it even more difficult to actually finish uh, a thing off. But if you're just setting them down, I guess they're fine. Let's put him inside of here. It is nice that they did make it out of a very bendable material. So, like, you could have him over here in the corner, like, I'm uh, in Street Shark Jail. <sighs> Street Sharks are weird. Weird property in general to, uh, to have because, like, they were part of the whole Ninja Turtle ripoff trend. But I feel like they were, like, number two. On the, on the, on the ripoff trend versus like some of the other ones that are very, very, very goofy, like Biker Mice from Mars, which yes, I own all those figures too. Yeah, so you can't even really stack them. 
half baked. That minimally, this should have been removable so that you could stack them. Huh. As I said, hanging them on the wall is probably going to be your best bet, uh, which is kind of what I wanted to do with these. But then you got to take the top and put it on the bottom. And then you also have to figure out some way to, so probably like a small acrylic piece that goes on the bottom that makes it so these don't fall through. I don't think Slash is going to fall through, but Jab is not really that great for, for this. Um, the fact that you don't have uh, swappable hands also makes it a little, little annoying. I feel like these, the street trucks themselves are three quarters baked. Uh, but the, the, the stands are definitely half baked. <laughs> if, if you get the reference that I'm, I'm putting there, the, But yeah, you can just do that. I suppose that they'll hang fine on the wall. So let's hope we get some more of the uh, street sharks sooner than later. Because this is a very short line. Like, there's not a lot they can do with these that are going to make me, like, go crazy for them. But I would like all of them uh, just to get all of them. Uh, and then I will also have my custom version. Uh, hopefully I'll finish this one Eon. <clears throat> I mean, he's nine, like he's pretty close to being done. I just got to finish some, some paint there and, uh, I got to give him a tongue, which he doesn't even have a tongue here, does he? Maybe I'll just paint the chest a little more. Who knows? I, I, I have so many customs and so, so much time to do them, but no will to do so. <laughs> Yay, depression. It's so much fun. I'm less depressed and more annoyed, I guess, at society right now because uh, they're making fewer and fewer people able to have jobs because they keep making robots do everything and then uh, and then the only jobs that are left are ones that robots don't even want to do. How fun! How fun this world is! Yeah! I uh, hope you enjoyed this review. It was pretty jawsome. I don't remember how he sounds in the show. I, did, I watched the show very minimally, but uh, I do remember the toys. I actually have a streak still, I think, downstairs. Um, articulation is pretty decent. So for, for it being a, a shark-headed man, <laughs> shark-bodied man, really, uh, I'm, I'm impressed. This is, this is a fun little jaunt. Um, I think 25 might be a little expensive for these. Uh, I feel like if you could have kept them under 20, that probably would have been, would have been better. Um, because if I'm an adult who has a child, I'm like, oh, cool, street sharks. They brought those back. $25? What the hell? Because um, I don't remember them being that much when, when, when I was a kid. Uh But what do I know? What do I know? Hope you enjoyed this review. Please like, subscribe, comment. Till next time, I'm Alpha Magnus. These are toys. Yeah!